So it's a 15 gallon water heater we're replacing here. Uh, they had a little leak at this tank connection here uh, for the where the relief valve taps in, and it uh, uh, apparently was cracked. Uh, we thought we could just uh, you know pull out, redope it, and t tighten it up, but it was uh, after we did that, it was gushing water, so it was definitely cracked. Um, but anyway, so we're going to. Uh, be replacing it. Uh, we're gonna put a 10 gallon in here. That's all we could find today, and uh, kind of need hot water back. And it's just for a couple sinks, so it doesn't really need to be that much capacity. This uh, we did install this previous heater, and it's just a little bit, only about five years old, unfortunately. But now obviously has kind of a compromised tank connection there. So. But you didn't have to uh, modify the cold water one at all. Um, it came out exactly the same. And then we had to just extend the hot water down a little bit, which makes sense because it's a shorter heater, five gallons less capacity. And drain line, had to modify that a little bit, the TMP relief. Uh, kind of tight squeeze to get that union on there, but no big deal. Uh, my one complaint with this heater, my, or my biggest complaint, I guess, I don't have any other major complaints, so really the only complaint, I guess. But that electrical in there, there's, there's like less than a pinky's amount of room behind there. And they somehow expect you to get a fitting on the wires fish through there. And I don't really see that happening. Not with. Especially not with this liquid type fitting, so tried to drill a hole there. That was, was getting late yesterday, so we were kind of in a hurry. Um, but that doesn't work out because of the thermostat, so I'll probably drill another hole up here and mount it up there. And then uh, put the earthquake strap back on and be good to go if it is making hot water. So. Okay, there, finally it's all done now. It's been a couple days and I uh, haven't had any leaks or anything. I see these nipples. So, um, yeah, we did this condensate trap a while ago too, um, before we just had all these pipes just, uh, I think they were just kind of, just kind of dumping in there, just, uh, that's, that's been a couple of years since I did that, I guess, but they were just kind of all, uh, so just kind of haphazardly hanging over here and dumping in this mop sink. So we've uh, cleaned it up a little bit with a little funnel trap. I would still like to replace those um, vinyl tubes all the way back to the pump with copper, but uh, that never got approved. So for now, we'll, uh, just the best we can do. I think quite an improvement over what it was. But, but yeah, water heater is cooling now. Um, yeah, I know you can take this wiring part out. It's the part I was pointing out before where it's so skinny. Um, and I suppose you could pull that off, but it's still, they don't make it easy on you. So, no reason for it to be designed that way, really. So I ended up just drilling a hole at the top here. This one, this is my first one, and obviously the thermostat's right there, so there's no room for the, no room for the lid to close, so. But anyways, that's that. Thanks for watching.